Well, new at 10, HISD students from several different high schools affected by the district's new education system spoke out tonight. Instead of addressing the school board, they held a panel discussion in the third ward at the multi-service center where they could speak freely without time limits. As Devin Clark explains, the students are fired up about a system they say is depriving them of a normal education. The students brought their voices here because they say they don't feel heard at HISD board meetings. And tonight they sounded off about what they say is a school system that feels more like prison. The rules that are set for students are ridiculous. HISD's new education system, or NES, touts free trips for students to experience new places and cultures and extra resources and support to dramatically improve academic performance. Superintendent Mike Miles says it's supposed to help students at struggling schools thrive, but students say it's doing just the opposite. When you're walking in the hallways, administrators are yelling at you, uh, go to class, go to class, go to class, uh, headphones out, headphones out, put your phones Away. Worthing High School student Draypon Allen says he feels like he's behind bars while at school. There is blue tape in the middle of the hallway and you're being forced to walk in the right side of the hallway. Administr administrators will shove you. As students need to relieve themselves, Allen says they have to carry a large traffic cone to the restroom. It can be red, blue, depending on what side of the what side of the campus you're on. School was my safe space. Maria Mendez says things got so bad she considered suicide and had to transfer out of Worthing. I know I'm strong mentally, but at that school I cannot take the environment anymore. I was feeling so low where I'm honestly, I'm missing three to four days a week. Mendez and Allen are not alone. A panel of students from multiple high schools, some not NES, spoke against the system. And I would definitely agree and use the word dehumanizing uh, to describe these policies. Tonight's discussion comes on the heels of up to 40 more HISD schools said to be lagging in performance, set to transfer to that controversial NES system in the 2024-2025 school year. Reporting in Third Ward, Devin Clark, KPRC2 News. Uh, Devin, thank you. And the state takeover has certainly been a lightning rod topic for HISD families and other Houstonians. But how did we get here? Well, it started with a 2015 state bill allowing the TEA to take over any district with a campus that failed to meet accountability standards for five straight years. In 2019, the provision was triggered by HISD's Wheatley High School. The TEA announced it would appoint a board of managers to temporarily oversee the district, citing Wheatley's poor performance and allegations of board misconduct. Because of lawsuits filed by the district and delays during the pandemic, the takeover did not occur until last year. After the takeover was confirmed last March, KPRC2 asked our viewers, do you agree with the state taking over HISD? In that poll, 63% of the respondents said yes, 37% said no.